When I was on campus those many years ago, I tried to remove all of my bias from the classroom. One of the ways I would do this is by having students select an alias that they would use for every assignment, for every assignment that they took home, wrote a paper, whatever, and also every exam. So I would grade them. I wouldn't know who the people were. That was the point because I would be like most instructors, I would be inclined to show bias toward the people who sat in the front row and asked intelligent questions. But as it turns out, some of those people don't score well on exams. Surprisingly, some of the people who scored well were the people who sat in the back and looked like they were asleep for the whole time, which I suspect resembles my performance when I was a student in the classroom. For one exam, all of the students tried to foil the professor. They all used the same name. Their alias was Guy McPherson. Oh, what to do. But wisely, as it turned out, they each used a different middle initial. Guy A McPherson, Guy B McPherson, and so on. Of course, I was heavily biased towards the person who used Guy R McPherson because that's what my middle name starts with. In any event, they used the same name. They used a different middle initial for each of them. Fortunately, there were fewer than 26 students in this particular class. So it was quite a joke. We can accomplish a lot, even at the edge of extinction, especially when we throw a little bit of humor into the mix. And that's what these students were doing. It was great. It was a wonderful moment. I remember well, these many years later. At the edge of extinction, only love remains, especially if it comes with a dose of humor.